Ahoy! Welcome back to Adventure Sena. We are catching a ferry from Cebu to Bohol Island, where we'll get to check out the countryside day tour. Alright, at the passenger terminal, trying to catch my uh, ferry, so I will get my ticket out and get ready. Okay, so you pay the terminal fee there and then you can go through with your ticket. Here I'm waiting at gate 3 and uh, here in a bit they're going to call us onto the terminal, uh, onto the ferry. And then next stop will be uh, Tagbilaran in Bohol, which is uh, that region's capital city. And then I'll be going to Panglao. Uh, Panglao is where my uh, Airbnb is located, which it's going to be beautiful. I'm looking forward to showing it to you. So hope you all enjoyed today's adventure and uh, yeah, let's get to it. To catch a ferry, you need to have a ticket before you get to the terminal, whether you buy a physical ticket or get a ticket online. Definitely a tight seat, so if you're tall, pay for business class, I think it's worth it. <laughs> Luckily, the ride was fairly empty, so I got to move. So the ferry took off now. We're on the way to Bohol, um, Tag Bilaran next stop. So walk into my Airbnb from Momo Beach. Gonna check it out. It's about 500 meters. So got a bit of a walk. I'll let you know when I'm there. There's the Momo Village guest house. Momo Village, marked by the monkey. So I guess Momo means monkey. So here's the approach to Momo Village guest house. Man, I gotta say, this is the coolest Airbnb I've ever gotten, by far. Pretty neat. So I'm going all the way to the top. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm going up a spiral staircase. Got greeted by the little dog. <laughs> This is cool. Almost. So this is my place. I'm at the top floor here. This is it. Very basic Filipino style bathroom. No air conditioner. Okay, so this is the room. I'll be honest. Very bare bones. That's okay. It's fifteen dollars a night, so what do you expect? And I wanted to get an authentic experience, and this is definitely that. There's no shower here. Um, traditional style. You can see out every window. I just have tropical forest. All right. So here we are at my Airbnb. Coconut trees growing all around here. So this little dog buddy actually walks up the stairs to come say hello. Hello. Can't believe you come up here. <laughs> Worst part about the Airbnb by far is that there's no shower. Oh my god, a lizard! <laughs> um, that was unexpected. Apparently, lizards live in here. That it's so cool. I want to see you. Oh no, they ran out. I scared away my lizard neighbors. Anyway, so the worst part by far is that this is the shower and also how you wipe your butt. So, if you're not used to this, it's a pretty shocking thing. They do provide a little toilet paper for our, the Westerner, but that's one roll and it's ultra thin and it tears every time you try to use it, so good luck. Um, yeah, so embrace the culture, I guess. God damn, I had a rough night. Looking forward to getting out of this Airbnb and having a real hotel. Good morning. First morning here in Panglao. Just woke up. Actually, I found lying. I've been awake since 1 a.m. It was a very rough night. Uh, the room filled up with insects because there's no screens. And this is my AC, just ventilation. Just chilling on the rooftop. 
it's beautiful. This is why you put up with all the in all the discomforts. The dog comes up here just to bark at me. <laughs> Okay, so headed out from my Airbnb right now to the beach. This morning I also have a tour. Oh, there's a little cockerel. Young male. But yeah, so gonna uh, swing by the beach. I tell I have about three hours to kill uh, before my tour in Bohol starts. And so I'm just gonna enjoy a nice dip in the morning at Momo Beach. It's a really short walk to the beach, it's just a couple couple minutes like five minute walk maybe at a casual pace but right in the middle of a small village you also see very modern accommodations like that's a gorgeous modern house uh, fairly nice new houses and right next to shacks and village so you can see there's no there's no separation of class here everyone kind of lives together bananas just growing here beautiful yep on our way it's beautiful this morning Lots of coconuts, you gotta watch. Watch out if they drop, they're actually dangerous. Man, it is beautiful. So the water is not cold at all. I mean, it's a little cool, but it's, it's definitely warm here in the shallows. Oh man. <laughs> there, that's better. <laughs> In. <clears throat> so lots of uh, cabanas, little shops, things like that. <clears throat> Definitely gonna do a little exploring out here. All right, I'm just gonna swim around, enjoy myself for a bit, put the camera down. So there will be plenty of underwater snorkel action later. There's a bunch of these little tiny, tiny fish. They're translucent. Hard to see them. Dazzling reef life and the white sand beaches make Momo Beach a true gem hidden away from all the tourists. So here just waiting at my Airbnb in Pang Lao for my ride for the day tour, the Bohol countryside tour. I'm going to be seeing a lot today so it's going to be another pretty tiring day. It's going to take all day to do it as well so uh, looking forward to this day and hope you all enjoy the sights in Bohol. Wow, beautiful. exercise <laughs> made it so here we are at the top of the chocolate hills stunning the hills are as far as you can see this is where they need to film the live-action Mario movie so the chocolate hills are a geological formation most of the year they're actually not brown. You can see right now they're just starting to turn. Around April is when they finally go chocolate, truly matching their name. But for now, I don't mind. It's, a, it's stunning regardless. I don't think it's any worse that they're not fully brown. You can see a couple chocolate hills like way in the distance out there. I kind of wonder what caused these formations. <laughs> well, 
little windy. I'm gonna hold on to my hat. I can hear an ATV somewhere out there. It's gonna be me in a minute. So that's my guide over here. We're about to jump on the ATV, go for a little uh, one hour ride, 30 minutes out and back. midpoint of the uh, ATV cruise and I'm just gonna have a coconut and uh, enjoy the view. I was just up there a few minutes ago and everyone can see us. So there's a whole pile of coconuts over there and then they just grab a machete and they walk them open and then plop a straw in it and you're good to go. So basically your guide will bring you here to buy a coconut from this little farm. So this farm is actually making 100 pesos every coconut. So that's pretty cool. So now I think we're about to head back. So I hope y'all enjoy this ATV ride. Next up, we went to find the world's smallest primate at the Bohol Tarsier Conservation Area. No camera, Fledge. Please don't touch Tarsier Sanctuary. Looking for the little babies. They hide under leaves, it looks like. And keep your eyes open, you may see a Tarsier. They're very small from what I understand the size of your fist. waiting on the river cruise to start here and uh, see how it goes. Getting on the river cruise. This food looks amazing. regular lechon, some prawns, got some skewers, some pancit I think, or uh, whatever it's called, yeah pancit, and then just rice, and then this is sticky rice. So looking forward to tearing in. on the river cruise is uh, kind of buffet style and it's pretty solid honestly very good happy with it better than what you would expect from like a restaurant buffet for sure stops at like a little uh, traditional performance and then flips around it looks like I think so we're gonna turn around here so it looks like Lobok River uh, kind of comes to an end with some little falls some rapids
Out of all the things I did on the Behold Day Tour, the Lobok River Cruise was the true highlight of all of them. After a full day of adventure and Behold, I was pretty beat, so I made my way back to Momo Village Guest House so I could watch the sunset from my rooftop. Although I will say, tonight's probably going to be uncomfortable. The next few nights I'll be uncomfortable, but I'll deal with it. Um, I was talking to one of my ex-Navy friends, uh, Tino, and he was telling me he still has family that cooks with, you know, fire and has to go and get draw water and, like, bring it in buckets and things. So just a reminder, we take a lot for granted in the West, and for the most part, we're still an ungrateful culture. Since I've been here, I've seen nothing but kindness, generosity, and gratitude. Everyone here is so nice and grateful and kind. Um, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. I, would, I mean, I, I'm complaining about having to, you know, use the uh, the dipper instead of having a shower or, or a toilet paper. But, uh, you know, a lot of these people, this is just the way of life for them. You know, Tino was kind of saying, you know, at least there's running water, you know, so I don't have to go draw my water. So, he's got a point. Um, and this trip is just a real reality check for me. I mean, I've traveled a lot, but I've, I can honestly say I've never been in a country like this where you have such extremes and uh, vast swaths of the population can be in the extremes regardless. So, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Definitely makes me reflect a lot. And I'm going to be a lot more grateful. I'm going to try and maintain some of the gratitude that I'm learning here from the people. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Journey Across the Philippines on Adventure Senna. Stay tuned for a sneak peek of our next episode of Journey Across the Philippines. Next time, exploring the mystical Sikihor Island.